At this point, we're going to look at a programming feature called conditionals. It basically allows the program to do some thinking. It establishes a certain action based on a set, set of conditions. So if this condition exists, do this. Else if this condition exists, do that. Else if this third condition exists, do the third thing. So I'm just going to open up my code here, which we've already started. And you can see that uh, we've set up some code that based on any keyboard being pressed, our little border guy is going to move five pixels to the right. So again, I've got my add event listener listening for a keyboard event, key down. And within my function, I'm sending the border to the right. So I actually want to set up some conditions within the function to be more specific. That is to say, if I press the right arrow key, move them to the right by five pixels. So let's try that to begin with. I'm just going to move this border line down one so I can insert a line of code just above it. And that will be my if statement. So I'm going to start with an if. And the syntax is if, then parentheses, and then the condition. Now in this case, it's an event that I'm listening for. So I go evt dot key code and I can see my code hints coming up so I'll just double click that if event key code equals equals now one equals assigns a value but two equals is the same as saying is equal to it's known as a comparison statement so equals equals key board dot right uppercase for the word right and then close that parentheses and open that up with a curly brace and then hit my return key now I've got two curly braces so I'm going to move this in between those and just check my syntax okay so I've got a function now that's being a little more specific it's saying if I hit the keyboard right arrow, which is indicated by keyboard dot right. Send my movie clip to the right by five pixels. So let me just close this. I'm just going to move this little guy up a bit so you'll see him better. And I'll do a test movie. Okay, so I'm hitting any key and nothing's happening. I'm going to hit my right arrow and there we go. So I've been more specific. I said only if the condition of hitting the right arrow key exists move my movie clip to the right. So I actually want to get a little more uh, sophisticated with this. I want to be able to move them to the left as well by hitting the left arrow key. So I'm going to close this now and we'll go into our code and we'll add to it. Okay, so I'm going to copy this if statement And then go below that whole if statement and paste it in again. Except I'm going to change the condition, the event key code equals equals keyboard dot left. So let's just type in capital L-E-F-T here. And of course, for my border, I want them to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to subtract by 5 pixels. So that's a minus equals operator by 5. And let's give this a try. I'll just run my test movie and right arrow key and left arrow key and any other key is not responding left arrow key moves it to the left right to the right now I want to modify this just slightly because if I was to hit both keys at the same time there would be a conflict so I'm just going to adjust my code to accommodate that a little bit again we'll call up my actions and I'm going to put an else in front of the second if. That means only one of these conditions can occur at a time. So else space if. And I could have, depending on what I'm trying to do, I could have if, else if, else if, else if, and I could have a whole sequence of conditions that if the first one doesn't exist, do the second one. If the second one doesn't exist, go to the third and so on. But let me just test this first. So I added an else in front of the second if. 
test movie. I'm just hitting my control return on my keyboard. Command return on the Mac. There we go. And our little guy moves back and forth. Now I'm just going to go into my code just to show you what you would do if you have more than two else if statements basically. This could also just be an else statement without the else if. But if I was to have three of these, I would have to have an else if and then end it with an else. So I'll just copy that just to demonstrate. All right, so my third else statement, I'm going to remove the if. I'm also going to remove this whole keyboard command and just type in a trace command, meaning if they don't hit the left or the right arrow, we're going to send a message to the output window. So I'm just going to use trace, uh, open brackets, a uh, quote mark, and I'll type in you didn't press the left or right key. Close the quote mark and close the parentheses. So if I hit the right key, my little guy moves to the right. If I hit the left key, he moves to the left. If I hit any other key, I'm going to see this statement appear in my output window. So let me just click on that, and I think I'm going to save my file at this point, and we'll give that a test. And I'll keep it off to the side a bit, but if I hit my, left, my right arrow key, moves to the right. Left arrow key moves to the left. Any other key is going to generate that message in my output window. No matter what key it is, if it's not left or right, it generates that message. Okay, so let me close this and we'll just take a quick look at that code once more. And within a function, I've got a conditional statement which again starts with the if. So the syntax is if, then parentheses, then the condition, and in this case, if the keyboard right arrow key is pressed, execute the following statement, which is to move our movie clip five pixels to the right. Else, if I hit the left keyboard button, move my movie clip to the left. Else, if neither of these events occur, trace the message, you didn't press the left or right key. And in effect, that is how we create conditional statements. We can have a very simple one condition, two condition, or multiple conditions beyond two. Using the if, the if else, or the if combined with else. And again, those are how we create conditional statements.